Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I have a late night grocery haul to share with you. I got out of the house with my oldest daughter Mackenzie, and it was super late, but we had a lot of fun. So stay tuned and I'll show you everything that we picked up. So it was very out of the ordinary for me to go shopping so late at night and to just have Mackenzie with me, but we started our night going out to some frozen yogurt. I was definitely treating her. She had her first day of standardized testing. She was really nervous about it, but she did really well, and I wanted to celebrate it being done. She ended up getting the pineapple frozen yogurt, which is just like what they sell at Disneyland, so I'm not surprised and she also got some cookies and cream frozen yogurt with a few toppings. And then we made it to Trader Joe's just 10 minutes before closing time. So luckily I had my list and we were able to get the things we needed quickly. And then it was on to Winco. Now Winco is a regional store, so you might not have one near you, but they have really good prices and a lot of produce. Right now is a super busy time for us. We just got back from Disneyland, and in a few days, my husband and I are headed to South Carolina for a work trip. So we needed things for lunches before we go, some recipe videos I'm hoping to make before we go, and things like that. So it's much later now, almost 10 p.m., and Mackenzie has gone to bed. But I still need to get all of these things out of their bags. I'm gonna show them to you, and then I'm gonna put them away. So let's get started. Okay friends, so definitely not the biggest haul ever, but that's okay. Like I said, we're heading out of town and so I wanted to get some smaller items and not shop in bulk at Costco like I normally do. So I'll go ahead and show you the things from Trader Joe's and then the things from Winco. So starting in the back, I picked up a big bag of the corn puffs. These are the white cheddar kind. This is basically Trader Joe's version of Pirate Booty, but this entire bag is only $1.99, so it's such a good deal. And then I also got two packages of the Trader Joe's version of Hawaiian bread. And I actually prefer these over the regular kind. These are actually made with some whole wheat as well. And they're very good and soft. We love them. I also got some fruits and veggies in smaller packages this time. We got some broccoli, some sugar snap peas, some carrots, two packages of dried mangoes. I also got some potatoes. I'm hoping to make some baked potatoes before we go out of town. I also got some of these oven baked cheese bites. I'm actually hoping to bring these on the airplane with my husband so we can share them and they're actually gluten free as well. So it's like a cracker but with no wheat. I also picked up one of our Trader Joe's staples which is the mandarin orange chicken. Now the kids are actually not going with us on this work trip so I wanted to leave some easy food that grandma could heat up for the kids while we're gone. So. This is going to be one of their dinners while we're out of town. Oh yes, you guys, and I am filming this in advance, so by the time you're watching this haul, we'll be back from our trip already. Moving over here, I picked up some boxes of lemonade. This was Mackenzie's choice. Hopefully it won't be too sour. I know that Trader Joe's likes to add less sugar, which is good, but then a lot of times the things end up being pretty sour, so hopefully the kids won't like these. I also got some of this organic applesauce with berries. This is really tasty. I got some of these golden round crackers, which are basically like Ritz crackers. And then these guys, these are the coconut cashews. These are so good and definitely coming with us on our trip. My husband and I will definitely share these. They are so good. I also got a big bunch of bananas. Hopefully this will be enough bananas. I got some of this multi-grain pancake mix. I love this multi-grain one. It's so much better than Bisquick. Over here, I got some cereal for the week. These are the Frosted Maple and Brown Sugar Shredded Wheat Bites. These are delicious. I love these. They're so good. I also got one of my favorite gluten-free pizzas. This is the one with a cauliflower crust. And then Mackenzie also picked out these. These are the Churro Bites. So it's kind of like a cinnamon and sugar puffed snack. They like them. I'm not super crazy about them. But then I'm a churro purist. I pretty much only like the original ones <laughs> from Disneyland. And then I got these to try. These are some grass-fed beef sticks. So it's kind of like beef jerky, but in a stick. And I thought this might be a good snack to have on the airplane. So I got one for me and one for my husband. 
Also from Trader Joe's, I picked up two packages of these peanut snacks. I was really happy to see these back in stock because my Trader Joe's runs out regularly and my kids really like these. So I got two bags. Then I also got some butter lettuce. My daughter Lily has requested salad this week. I know she loves salad, it's kind of interesting. So I picked up this for her. And then I have all of these goodies, you guys. And then I have all of these goodies, things you definitely don't normally see on my table, but I'm actually hoping to give them to our friends at Moss Family TV. When my husband and I travel to South Carolina, we're gonna have one extra day, and I'm hoping to go visit them and actually meet them in person, which I'm so excited about. And I thought it would be really fun if I brought them some of my favorite treats from Trader Joe's, things that were actually portable in my suitcase, so small things but I know they don't have a Trader Joe's, and so it would be fun for them to try these things. First up, I have some of this Cowboy Bark. So this is dark chocolate with toffee, pretzels, JoJo cookies, which are just like Oreos. It also has peanuts, almonds, and a sprinkling of salt. And so I thought I might give these to Titus because I just think of, when I think of Cowboy, I think of Titus Moss, so hopefully he'll like those. And then I've got lots of things for everybody else to share. You got some of this Speculoos cookie butter. This is one of Trader Joe's most popular items, so I thought they would like to try that. And then one of my favorite items is lemon curd. This is so good on toast or muffins. And then I got these for the kids. These are the gourmet jelly beans. I know they're fans of candy, so hopefully they'll like those. And of course I had to get them some fudge. You know, I actually really like to gift fudge to people because I think it's really funny since that's our, our name, it's fudge. So this is the English butter fudge. And then I also got some of this soft strawberry licorice. This is so yummy. If you've never tried the soft licorice, you definitely should. I highly recommend it. And I thought since Fallon loves sweet treats that she might love these as well. Now moving right along, I have some other treats for the family and for myself. This first one is the dark chocolate toasted sesame caramels. And I'm hoping to bring these on the airplane with me to snack on. And hopefully they won't get melted. I also got some of the sweet, savory, and tart trail mix. Hopefully the kids will enjoy this and my husband will have some as well. And I also picked up a bag of the yogurt pretzels. And these actually have a tangy yogurt coating so it's not just like a white chocolate, it's actually yogurt. So it's a little bit sweet and salty and tangy all in one. So that's everything from Trader Joe's. Now I'll show you what I got from Winco. Starting with some juice boxes. These will be going into lunches as well. The kids really wanted Capri Suns, but I talked Mackenzie into trying these. These have a little bit less sugar, but hopefully they won't be too sour. I also got a little baby watermelon. Jackson requested watermelon. I got some cherry tomatoes and some chocolate chips. I really like the Godard brand. They're actually made in San Francisco, which is not too far from where we live. These are gonna be going into some muffin cups and some pancakes. I wanna make those before we head out of town. I also got three big things of garlic and some things you don't normally see on my table. We got some chicken thighs and a roast. I actually have a collab coming up with Kelly from Kelly Barlow Creations, and we're gonna share some really easy crock pot meals. So, the chicken is for one of the crock pot meals, and this roast as well. So I definitely need to work on that video before we head out of town. Hopefully, it'll be up by the time you're seeing this video, and hopefully, you liked it. Moving on over here, I got one loaf of wheat bread. This is gonna be for lunches this week. And then I also got a big box of the chocolatey chip Ego waffles. Mackenzie requested these and I thought this would be easy for when we're out of town. And lastly, I got a few more things for traveling, starting with this pill planner, but I'm actually not gonna put pills in there at all. I'm actually gonna put some earrings in one and different earrings in the other one, a necklace or two or three, and I'm gonna travel with this to keep all of my jewelry organized. I was looking at ones at the Dollar Tree, but they were really big. And I think this is the perfect size for holding jewelry and things like that when I'm traveling. I also got another thing of travel hairspray. I, I probably have two or three of these in my bag because I'm a little bit paranoid about running out of hairspray. 
because I use quite a lot of it. So I got a backup one just in case. I also got some travel cotton swabs. I definitely needed to replace the one that we had. And then I got some Olara bars. These are to keep with us while we're traveling in case we need a quick snack and we don't know where we can stop. We've never been to South Carolina before or Georgia or Tennessee, so we thought it'd be a good idea to bring some snacks just in case. We got two of the coconut cream pie Lara bars, which are my favorite. And then I also got a cherry pie and an apple pie. Okay friends, that is everything in the grocery haul for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will give it a big thumbs up. And I hope that you will subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.